Hello and welcome to Saturday we Night go. with the NBA on 2K Sports. An exciting game on the way. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Golden State Warriors. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. And it's Pippen in at the three. This is Steph's go-to shot. He's money from deep. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan, the pass to Harper. And there's the foul. They'll pin that one on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. Now off the inbound. Jordan with the bucket. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Curry looking it over. The three is up. Drains the triple. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Pippen. Over Barnes. Here's Longley. And he gets the bucket. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. The ball's knocked loose. Driving in. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. I almost can't believe what I saw. <laughs> Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for Golden State. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. And the Warriors with another three. Prolific jump shooters like Stephen Curry. They don't even see the defense in front of them. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan, the pass to Harper. Yep, count it. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Up top, Curry. He's got nine. Let's go with a three. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Here's Rodman. Pass to Longley. Here's Pippen. Here's Harper. He's covered by Curry. And that one's good. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Outside Curry. Launches it. Another three for Golden State. Could the bucket look any bigger to Steph Curry tonight? This is impressive, even for him. Here's Longley. Green covering. Longley passes to Rodman. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Sky high, one of his advantages as a undersized four. 103 left to play in the first. And a deep three from Curry. Rodman with a rebound. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. That was a great pass once the double team came over. He hit the wide open man perfectly. Outside Curry. From beyond the arc and then some. Curry's got 18. 
What can you say? If he started hitting him from that range, there's nothing you can do. Pass to Rodman. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls tack on two more. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. Takes the three. And the Warriors with another three. Defenders just can't get out in time before Steph Curry lets it fly. Oh, there's the alley. And slam dunk by Jordan. Everyone loves the alley you play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. And here's Curry for three. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. They've been very effective from the three-point line. That's the key for them so far. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. And Chicago has possession. Six-point game. Barnes is out there with Andre Iguodala. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Green. And it's Thompson in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Here's Kerr. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. That's his first foul. Wellington passes to Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Now here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Here's Kerr. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Now Curry. He's got 24. Pass to Iguodala. Back to Curry. Fires for three. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, at this point, you're almost shocked when Steph misses a three, especially from a corner. Here's Kukoc. He's guarded by Barnes. Shot on the wing. And Chicago again with a bucket. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Curry with it. 27 points for him. Here's Kerr. Pass to Jordan. Here's Kukoc. He's guarded by Barnes. Connects from downtown. Kerr's got five points now this quarter. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Now here's Curry. Not a lot of room. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Fires away from way outside. No good there. That puts him at 9 for 12 in this one. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Thompson with a steal. Here we go. One on one. The kick out. Curry for three. Curry rises up and hits the three. And just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space, and he delivered. It's stolen by Barnes. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. They get the rebound. On the wing, Curry. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. 
Curry's got 33 points. Showing patience, taking time to read the defense. Draymond finds the open man. Fades back. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Now here's Curry. 33 points for him. From deep three-point land. The rebound by Kukoc. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Jordan. Good on the bucket. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Warriors. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. One nineteen left in the first half of this one. Here's Simpkins. He's covered by Curry. And Simpkins gets it to go. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. And here's Curry. There's the triple. Knocks down the triple. Curry's got 36 points. Man, he's been on point. Not forcing things. Getting the most of his looks within the flow. Pass to Jordan. Banked it in off the glass. Jordan's got 12 points in the game. He's really taken a hold of this first half and made it his. He is making all the right decisions out there. Now here's Curry. Tightly guarded. From downtown. And the Warriors with another three. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Stolen by Thompson. Puts up a deep three. And there's Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got 42 in the game. Clever ball movement by Klay Thompson. Getting the rock to a guy with a better look. And there's the lob. And slam dunk by Jordan. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. Talk about three-point shooting. He piled up 18 points from range that quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his first foul. Here's Harper on the court for Chicago. And it's Longley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Pippen. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Longley's got his second bucket on the night. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. Now here's Curry. 
Oh, swiped away. Free throw's good. Jordan. Here's Harper. Six points for him. Jordan up top. Defended by Thompson. Back to Jordan. To the inside. Here's Longley. And it's good for two. Longley's got four points this quarter. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. Gets the three ball to go. More than capable of knocking down that shot. He's not shy. Here's Harper. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Rodman. Now here's Jordan. Oh, he's on fire. Eight for eight and just looking relentless. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here's Iguodala. Still without a bucket. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. Here's Harper. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. Takes a three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Curry's got 48. That is a high percentage shot for Stephen Curry. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Sweet little floater. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. On the wing, Thompson. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Here's Harper. Rips down the breakaway slam. And a steal like that, with the conversion, can really start moving things in your direction. Harper's got a perfect five for five for the field. Up top, Curry. Non-stop scoring machine right here. Puts up a three. Another three for Golden State. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Jordan. 17 points in the game. And it's good. Two points. Jordan's got 19 points. And since the break, both teams are increasing their intensity and really getting after it. I would have loved to hear the coach's speech because they really took heed to it. Like you said, both teams playing at a different pace. Hits a three-pointer. Curry's got 54 points. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Here's Harper. He's covered by Curry. Pippen, pass to Harper. To the paint. Here's Longley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Longley's got eight. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Up top, Thompson. Just five on the clock. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. On up the court. Count the basket. Harper's got six in the quarter. And that was a case of great anticipation skills on defense, sparking the transition game. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover. Drills it from deep. Curry's got 57 points. Here's Harper. He's got 12. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Pass to Pippen. 
Shoots over Curry. And again, it's Chicago. Working in that mid-range area. The analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Buried from outside. I don't know. I think we may get a review here. The previous play is under but The third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play. They're trying to see if he released the ball before the buzzer or not. And I couldn't tell exactly what happened. And apparently, I guess the refs didn't get a clear look at it either. They have to get it right because this is a big moment in the game. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. We'll be right back after this word. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. We've got Andre Iguodala. Clay Thompson is out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's Barnes. And it's Green in at the center. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Gets the three to fall. And the Warriors lead by seven. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Here's Kukoc. From the low block. And that one drops for him. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Iguodala outside. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That'll be a second foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. The Bulls making a switch here. Here's Jordan. I got him, I got him. Pass to Bushler. Back to Jordan. Here's Kukoc. Jordan with it. Six on the shot clock. And there's another one for the Bulls. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. And coming down the stretch, both teams still playing fantastic offense. Yes, out, and if out. you love offense, you're loving this matchup. Sorry. It's been a highlight reel affair. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with his team. He told his guys to up their aggressiveness on the defensive end, saying this game is all about who can get stops right now. I need you guys to bring some more energy on defense. That's how we'll get this win. Guys? Thank you for that, Allie. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. To the middle. Here's Wennington. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Wennington's gotten his first basket of the night. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. On the wing, Curry. Ball stolen. Goes up on the wing. And the Bulls tack on two more. And since the break... Both teams are increasing their intensity and really getting after it. I would have loved to hear the coach's speech because they really took heed to it. Like you said, both teams playing at a different pace. 
Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Drops in the three. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Thompson. Here's the three. And there's Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Just another reason why we have to love Stephen Curry. Time out, time out. His ability to provide baskets in key situations. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. From the inbound. And slam dunk by Jordan. He has really come into this second half on a absolute tear. Really impressive effort from him so far. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. A minute 53 left in the game. Let's the three fly. Rodman with a rebound. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Outside Curry. The three ball. Fires in the triple. And the Warriors lead by four. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? And he's going for the oop here. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. Oh, my goodness. He's kicking himself. You know, that's a critical time to commit a turnover. No telling how that error will ultimately play out. Pass to Barnes. From deep. Oh! Curry with no space delivers. The assist there from Barnes. Over the years, he's got better and better making decisions with the ball in his hands. Inside. Hook loose. Thompson with a steal. And a deep three from Curry. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Chicago with the ball. They trail by seven. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, he nails it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Jordan with the bucket. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. And Barnes has got the ball here for Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Money! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. The greatest shooter ever. Yes, I said it. Steph Curry. A great option at the line here. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're losing by five. 26 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Harper. Green covering. Out to the right wing. Jordan, a good look. And he buries it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Unstoppable right now. He is just piling it on the points. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. What you admire about Steph is how intelligent he is, especially when it comes to breaking down defenses. 16 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Jordan. From outside the arc. Oh, he 
drained it from downtown. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a four-point ball game. Taking care of business at the line. Leaving this one out of reach. Pass to Rodman. Here's Longley. 4-3. And that one falls. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And so it's the Warriors who come out on top here. What a performance they had here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that about wraps it up. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.